girls, it's chocolate, and I still have my cat ears on because why not? So this week's theme is turkey, kind of going along with Thanksgiving and stuff, but since I already told you guys last year about my whole Thanksgiving situation with like not finding a turkey, and if you want to see that, check out my video last year, I thought I was gonna kind of take the twist on the name and take the other meaning of the name, which is the country turkey. So, yeah. I mean, I hope the rest of the members will be okay with this. Like, technically, it's very relevant to the theme, but, um, oh well. Anyway, so I've been to Turkey twice before. Um, a few years back, and then a few more years back, if that makes any sense. So the first time I went, um, I was going on holiday with my dad. Every year with my dad, we used to go somewhere on holiday, so that was either, like, in Greece, Turkey, Italy... Grenada, just really nice places that he'd take us for a week or two, um, which was really great of him. And this one year we went to Turkey. So I didn't really know much about Turkey, um, let alone like how the country actually was or anything. So we went there. First off, it's so hot. We went beginning of July, so basically at the peak of its temperature, and it can go up to like 50 degrees sometimes over there celsius not very night i'm talking celsius here sorry for you americans anyway it was like on an average day it was 40 42 up to 45 degrees that was the average day over there and me living in the uk i was used to really hot being like 25 degrees 30 degrees max that's like the hottest we'd have in the uk basically all summer um but going in a country where it's like 10 to 15 degrees hotter than our usually maximum heat was insane. Basically what happened was I ended up, well we all ended up pretty much staying in our hotel room with air conditioning on all day because we literally couldn't go outside um, and then we'd usually do stuff in the afternoon, like in the evenings um, when the sun was down and it wasn't as hot anymore or we weren't early morning people, we're not morning people so we just slept in in the mornings but we usually did stuff and visited stuff in the evenings when we could because we literally just couldn't go outside to the point where there was a swimming pool and we'd have to run to the swimming pool and um, because the, the ground was boiling so you couldn't walk barefoot but we had to run to the swimming pool because even just walking from our hotel room to the swimming pool we'd like die of heat so then we just jumped in the swimming pool and stayed there for a few hours and um, because once again if you go outside you're literally boiling in 20 seconds and you're already dry and you can't you can't even walk on the ground because it's too hot but yeah another thing about turkey that i recall when we went um is people will try and sell you everything like we went in this area with like this little, an old village that was like thousand years old and that was incredible and so much history and you know it was, that was such a beautiful place. I don't remember the name of it but I clearly recall it. And every like 10 meters we'd move there's this Turkish person who would try and sell us stuff. Um, from the moment we got out of our car like they were literally just trying to sell us things to the moment we got back in our car to the point where the first time we so we did our kind of tour, we kind of trying to avoid a few of the... So when we were going back to our car, we realised that the guy who was trying to sell us something, you know, when we were coming out of our car earlier that day, was actually asleep. So we kind of, like, tried to not make any noise on our way to the car. And when we were just about to get in our car, that's when he wakes up. He gets up and runs to us and starts trying to sell us, like, a... I think it was some sort of cruise or something um, for the next day. And we literally stayed there for 25 minutes talking to him because we couldn't, like, end the conversation. He was just continuing. He was a really nice guy, by the way. Like, Turkish people are really friendly. Um, but yeah. So that's my experience in Turkey. Hope you guys don't mind it not being about, like, a... The meat. But yeah. Anyway, I will see you next week. Bye.